Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to Sunday Morning, the old cookbook show. Today we're going to do a recipe out of this cookbook called simply Cookbook. Um, this is the 10th time now that I have filmed the intro to this recipe. And I'm at the point where I might just throw this book away. If I can't get it right this time, I'm gonna throw this book away. We're not gonna ever talk about it again. Um, and the reason I'm struggling with it is the group that put it out is the Imperial Order Daughters of the Empire. And this was compiled by the Maud McDonald chapter in Brantford, Ontario. Um, it's undated, but the Elizabeth Driver Culinary Land book, Landmarks book says that this was probably published in 1927. Um, all, of, all of her research leads us to believe that this is 1927. And I don't want to talk about the IODE at all, um, but there's value in what's in this book because it is a community cookbook. It is a community cookbook that gives great insight into what's happening in Canada in 1927, what people are eating or what people want everyone else to think they're eating. Um, you know, we are just about to enter into the Great Depression. And I'm gonna do a recipe called lemon pudding. Um, this cookbook really is heavily influenced by the empire, by English cooking. Um, the people who in the IODE, I mean, it's right in the name of their group, they are the Daughters of the Empire. And yes, this is a freakishly large lemon, but I love lemon desserts, so when I saw this one at the grocery store, I said I know exactly what I'm gonna do with that lemon. So, I've got it zested, and now we'll cut it in half and juice it. Now this is called lemon pudding, um, and given the group that it's coming from, I'm expecting it to be more cake-like, and that they're using the word pudding to mean more like dessert than, than what we would call here in North America pudding. Okay, so in this bowl, I'm gonna put flour, salt, and some melted butter. And just give that a bit of a stir. It says to stir that until it's smooth. And I mean, two tablespoons of flour, there's really not a whole lot going on there, is there? So in goes the lemon rind, or the zest, and the juice. And we'll mix that in. Now, mix in the sugar. Now, I need the yolks of two eggs and some milk. So, I also need to whip the egg whites. So I need the copper bowl. Now, I need one cup of milk. Here's the thing. Um, this is 1927. Canada hasn't moved to the metric system yet. We are using imperial measurements. And so a Canadian measuring cup in this time period is eight imperial ounces, which is different than an American measuring cup, which is eight US fluid ounces. Um, not a whole lot of difference, but eight imperial ounces works out to 227 milliliters, and an American cup of eight fluid ounces is 240 milliliters, and a current Canadian cup because we've moved to metric, is 250 milliliters. So each one is, uh, is slightly different. And when you go back into these old cookbooks, you have to be very cognizant of what measurement system they're using because you even go back farther in Canadian cookbooks um, and it's a mishmash of different measuring units. Some of them are American units. Some of them are Scottish units, which were different. They were pre-imperial. Um, because imperial measurements didn't come around until sometime in the mid-1800s. I may have that date wrong. Um, you can look it up. Okay, so there, we've separated the whites from the yolks. I'll just give the yolks a mix in. And I'll start whipping the whites.
Now, every time I pull out the copper bowl and I whip egg whites, I get someone in the comment section telling me that I didn't whip the egg whites far enough, that I didn't whip them to a stiff enough peak, that I didn't get them dry enough. Um, in a copper bowl, you're never going to get them dry. Never going to get them dry. There's a chemical reaction between the egg and the copper, and that produces this really fine, beautiful foam. And it stabilizes the egg whites. It holds them in this sort of wet, glossy um, state that they're never going to look dry and they're never going to whip as stiff as if you took a beater and or put a beater on a stand mixer and whip them. In that scenario, you can whip an egg white until it's completely dry and it starts to weep this liquid in the bottom. You've whipped them too far. Um, you can't whip them too far in, in a copper bowl. You're going to get them to the point that they need to be and you're going to keep whipping them and it's going to stay at that state. And if you're whipping them until they're dry and you've got that liquid in the bottom, you've gone too far and you might as well just start over. Where was I going with that? I guess, I guess, I guess where I'm going with that is you get the perfect egg white every time for folding in. I guess that's where I was going with that. So. Now, we've got three things here. I'm going to mix in the milk. It calls for one cup of milk. Okay, all the milk is in. And then, whip in first little bit of egg white. Whisk that in. And then, Fold in the rest. Look at that egg white. Look at that foam. Now, okay, and the last little bit of egg white. Now, a lot of people ask me in the in the comment section how I determine what recipes to do, and I got to tell you, in a lot of cases, it comes down to I want to try them. I'm intrigued by what they sound like or what they what they promise. Um, in the case of this recipe. I was looking for a lemon dessert for dinner tonight. And I saw this, I remember that this was in this book and I thought, okay, well, there we go. We're gonna have lemon pudding for dessert tonight. And it's really not anything more than that. Um, <laughs> really, I'm, I please myself. And I thank you for coming along on the journey and watching. Now, I'm supposed to put this into a dish set in a pan of water for 50 minutes in a slow oven. So the oven is preheated, 325. I've got a pan in there um, filled with water that comes up to about here on our dish. I'm gonna pour this in, and I gotta tell you, this is a super thin batter, and I, now that I see it, I have a pretty good idea what I'm gonna get. Let's see if when it comes out of the oven, it is actually what I get. Hey, Glenn. Hey, hey friends. Ooh, Ooh, is that a sauce and cake? It is a sauce and cake. Oh, does that mean it's a spoon? Yep. So this is, I mean, we've had multiple versions of this over the years. This one's slightly different than any one that we have done before, but I knew kind of that when I was making it, that's I how, was it, was gonna, how it was going to, yeah. Mm. Mm. Super lemony. That's a lemony custardy. Yeah. That's like right up there with a lemon meringue yeah. kind of thing. It's got that same sweet lemony flavor. And that, the the custardy, it's not a custard, but that custardy layer on the bottom mm -hmm. is just so smooth, isn't it? Mm. This is really good. I like this. <laughs> okay, the lemon pudding probably gets four thumbs up from us. Mm -hmm. This is a keeper. This is a really good recipe. Um, thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.